With an endless number of social media platforms, it is not easy to figure out which platform is going to be best for your real estate business. And trust me, I've tried just about all of them. But the one that I think is underutilized and especially for growing our real estate business is LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn is something that I used when I moved back to Atlanta with no connections. I just remembered that I did focus and use LinkedIn. Now, any platform that you use and you focus on will grow. This year, I am truly focused on YouTube. That is why you guys are seeing me show up more often. During my interview with Mike Sherrard, I actually forgot that I used LinkedIn the way that I did. Today, you guys, I wanna show you five ways that I used LinkedIn when I moved to a city with no spear. I'm going to share my screen so I can show you guys exactly how I used it. And hopefully this will be helpful for your real estate business. I'm sure most real estate agents are already on LinkedIn because it is a professional platform. And it's probably one of the places that you're thinking, well, hopefully you're thinking that you can come and find potential buyers and sellers. But today, you guys, I'm going to show you exactly how I use it. I don't know if you guys realize that there is over 738 million people on LinkedIn and you're able to have 30,000 connections. And these are connections you have to be connected to one another to be able to see each other's content. I mean, it's kind of like Facebook. So Facebook, you have to be connected, unlike Instagram and TikTok. You may follow people, they may not follow you back. I love Facebook. Maybe I'll create a video next about Facebook and how I used it when I moved um, back to Atlanta and how you can use it now if you live in a city that you've been in or, a city, uh, you're, or you're moving to a new city. I'm gonna show you guys how, maybe I'll show you guys how I used Facebook. But today, you guys, let's focus on LinkedIn. So this is my LinkedIn profile. And I know we want to look at LinkedIn as it being a professional platform, but it is still a social media platform. So we're going to look at it as like a professional social media platform. And the first thing I want to talk about is your profile. So I'm going to go over to my profile just so you guys can see it. And this is my public profile. I do not pay for LinkedIn. I get the most out of it. For what I what for what I needed it for. Now, as a new agent, a lot of times into a new I was in a new city. I didn't know where to spend my marketing dollars, so I try to use things that are free. Now, I've never paid for LinkedIn. You're welcome to pay for it. I'm sure it probably opens up a number of things that I don't have access to, but I've never paid for it, and I have thirteen thousand followers and connections. So it's something that you don't have to pay for. The first thing we want to do is have make sure our profile is completely filled out. You know, you want to go in, add a header at the top, make sure you have a professional photo. Even if it's a photo that you have a family member take or you take a really nice selfie or set up your camera, your cell phone, make sure you clean your lens and put it on a timer and take a few pictures because you want to have a really nice professional photo, not you in a photo with other people, just you one professional photo and a nice header. I made this on Canva years ago. I probably, it's probably time to update it. So you can go in here in this, this top part, of course, you're going to make sure you just fill in everything, where you work, when you, where you went to school, your past career, whatever you did in your past career. I always say this on every video. Most agents were not, you didn't come out of high school or out of college as a real estate agent. So you do have a past career. Make sure you include that as well, because that's one of the ways that you can connect with people. Because say you worked in HR, you were in the military, you were a nurse, you know, you're going to connect with people based on your past career. So first you want to go in here and you're going to be open to, and usually it has, well, it has find a new job. We're not finding a new job. We're not hiring unless you are hiring and unless you're looking for a new job. I selected services. And when you click on the button over here that says open to, you can go in here and include your services. Now, that was the, one of the first things that I did. I made sure this used to say just real estate. Um, there's a number you just go in and add a service. Depending on what your services are outside of real estate, you can go in here and just, oh, I'm going to add this. You can go in here and add all of your services that you offer because this is going to show up on your public profile. And we want clients to know that you know, we are open for services. Um, customer service is one I would probably include. Real estate is here. This video is for my real estate agents. You offer, you know, lending, commercial, relocation. That's a good one. 
Maybe I'll add that too. You can just go in here and add a number of things that you do and the services that you offer and it will show up on your profile. And then you can go in here and write something about the services. Now I am a real estate agent. I'm a creative. If you follow me, you may or may not know that I am a full creative. I've been an entrepreneur for 25 plus years. So I also design websites, which I recently updated this to have web design, branding, marketing, content strategies. And I'm saying that I'm in Atlanta, but I'm available to work remotely because everything online can be done via the World Wide Web. And you're going to go in here if you want to put in an hourly rate or you want them to contact you for pricing. This is just another place for us to show up. So when SE, for your SEO, for your website, for your LinkedIn, for Google, um, if you want to include any media, I'm going to go in here and add some media. I didn't add a chat, but I am. Maybe I'll do that. I'll go ahead and add some media. So you can add photos, videos. Uh, you know what? I actually may create a nice video to, to put here. I'm sure I already have one, but I'll have to go dig it up. But I'll just add a photo here. If you want to add any documents, you want to add a link to your buyer's guides, seller's guides, investor guides, you can do that as well. Okay, so I added a photo. If you want to add a video, you want to add a link, um, a document, relevant site links or videos, you can do that as well with the link. You're able to do that. And you can go in here and write a quick description of what the item is that you posted. So I added my services. I added a few photos for my services and it shows up here. So you're just gonna go in and just fill in all of these sections. You're going to, as agents, as real estate agents, I recommend that you turn on creators mode. Um, we are creators. And, and when you have the creator mode on, you are able to go live. You can do audio events, newsletters, follow links. You're able to do a number of things outside of it just being on a regular profile. So you want to go in and change it to creators mode because then you'll have some creator tools. Okay. Some analytics, you just have a number of things. And then you want to make sure your about section. This was my service section. And to get the, to this, you guys, you're gonna go up here and open this and it's going to say services offered. I've already done it, so it doesn't say it. Okay, so you're just gonna go down here, make sure you fill in any everything, your future, your featured post, any post that you wanna feature, you can just go in here and add a featured post. I already have a few here, which is going to be for real estate agents. You can add, you know, a blog posts, you can add your website, you can go in and do that. This is my activity. I'm going to talk about that a little later. Make sure you have your experience in here. Places you've worked, again, past your current real estate brokerage, um, past brokerages. I always say that I worked at a million brokerages and I didn't lie because they're all in here. <laughs> they're all in here. I've worked everywhere. This one was my favorite and EXP is my favorite. But all of the brokerages are in here that I've worked at. So you want to make sure you have those in there as well, as well as, as, well as any education skills, if you have any endorsements, and then that's it. So the next thing that that was number one, number two. Okay. Number two is content. What type of content do we want to post on LinkedIn? Now I did say it's a professional social media platform. So we still want to be professional. We want to show, I'm going to, I'll show you guys what I post. I post everything from, because I know who I'm again, let me, <laughs> let me go back. Who is your ideal client? Because coming over to LinkedIn, you're really going to want to know who your ideal client is because I'm going to show you how to find that person. But I know that I'm looking for potential clients for buyers and sellers, as well as I help real estate agents. So I do post content, of, you know, helping real estate agents. This was a free list building class that I did. Here's something from my YouTube channel. So you can post things from your YouTube channel if you have YouTube. I usually try not to post things that are going to take people off the platform because like with every platform, they, the platform wants us to keep people on the website. So I usually try not to post too many things to take them off, but Hey, if I have something on YouTube that I think is relevant to my community on LinkedIn, I will post it. So here's an open house that I had coming up Kirkwood Boulevard, which is website templates for real estate agents. I had a YouTube video on that. Here's a home. You can go in and actually look at the home. 
Um, I actually have a, a, this probably shouldn't be on here, <laughs> but it is. I put it on here because again, I know who my, I'm targeting. I target women, single women, families, single women and families. So I know that women, families is still women. So it's usually the women in the family that I'm targeting. So I posted a video of a fashion on my randomly share um, YouTube channel. So this is a video for real estate agents. This is me changing my space around. You know, I'm still speaking to realtors, but you are going to post, you know, open houses. Um, this again is speaking to realtors. You're going to post open houses. Depending on who your target market is, you're going to post open houses, um, close, if you have closed deals, new on the market, um, something in the community or area that's going on, you're going to post that. This is a photo shoot that was coming up. Here's our website templates. Here's another house. So as you can see, I post a variety. This is colors for um, real estate agents for their personal brand. Here's another house, a closing, Kirkwood Boulevard. It was Halloween and I love this post. So I posted it because it's super PG. You know, we're not, we're not getting risky over here. This is professional social media. So these are some of the things that you can post. There's my YouTube channel. Here's a broker's open. Here's a, a new listing. One of my agents had. So I went ahead and posted some of the photos and, you know, so this gives you an idea. I, as you can see, I'm posting a variety of things, but you know, if you have a buyer's guide, a seller's guide, I'm going to, here's me baking something. <laughs> here's me baking a pie. I wanted to bake a pie exp con and you know, Here's some interior design. Again, I know who I'm speaking to. So I post the type of content that I know. And you guys, I post kind of the same content, a lot of different places. YouTube is the only place that you really have to get focused on what you're doing. Like a lot of these other platforms, as long as you're showing up, it's fine. But like, here's another house. Um, I went to the Beyonce concert in LA for her birthday. I posted that. So YouTube is the only one that you really have to get focused and know, you know, who you're speaking to. I went to Vegas for 36 hours. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of what type of content. Here's a DIY, you know, gives, it gives you an idea of what kind of content to post. So let's move on to the next one. <laughs> okay, you guys, I decided to break this up because it was becoming too long, but the next part is going to be all about why you should follow these steps when growing your business on LinkedIn. And I know it's supposed to be five short steps or five short ways to grow your business on LinkedIn. But on the next video, we're going to talk about the other three. So, and why it's important to follow these steps to grow your business on LinkedIn for free. Again, I am Cher Allen with eXp Realty and I will see you on the next video. Okay. Alrighty. Bye you guys. <laughs>